Hello everyone, my name is Michael Anderson. I'm the assistant principal at Garrett County High School. I'm very excited to share with you the mission and vision that I have to move Garrett County High School to the next level. I hope you enjoy this presentation. Garrett County High School, expect the best. I just think that's an awesome motto. I so look forward to making sure that everyone strives to be their best, work hard, and be creative. This is the type of leadership style that I just want to master and become and hope to use to empower teachers when they see huge obstacles in front of them that they just work hard and they just uh, realize that it's just, a, just an obstacle and that with teamwork and effort that any obstacle can be uh, removed and conquered. Just looking forward to becoming a community of learners. I just think the community, when everyone looks out for each other, they uh, take care of each other. All stakeholders are uh, focusing on the student, what's best for the student, how to empower that student. And with learners, I want all stakeholders to be learners. I want from day one, teachers are striving to, to learn as well as showing students how to become lifelong learners. We keep going. We don't quit. This is an awesome clip uh, from Facing the Giants, and I just hope that you take a minute to review this and look at it because this kind of sums up uh, the, an, another point of my leadership style is encouraging people to uh, go beyond that with faith and hard work and with just someone encouraging them at all times, students and teachers, that we will be able to move Garrett County to the next level. My vision is two parts, one for the students and one for the teachers, and I just want the students uh, to be pushed for their next stage of life, whatever it's work, college, training, military. I just want us to have a community that helps that student find their passion and push them to be great at the next level. And with teachers, my, my thing's going to be cutting edge. I just want teachers to be looking for ways to continually grow and find new and exciting ways to teach new exciting ways to interact with students and just be out there in the front taking chances and being creative. My mission is to empower stakeholders to encourage students and prepare them for the next stage of life. So I want to make sure that I have new and exciting tools for the teachers, ways to encourage them to try new things and to, for that to that excitement and passion to carry over to the students because in 2018 I just feel like that companies and businesses and entrepreneurship is so powerful and so important that if teachers are showing students how to move forward and be out in the front and find solutions and ways to change then that will carry over and help the student in their next adventure in life. Just want to take a second just to show you GCHS's current mission and core values and their motto. I'm very excited about these. Look forward to keep the, the great successes and momentums going at Garrett County High School and to keep reiterating what Garrett County has already started. I love Garrett County's current core values, leadership, integrity, or organization, no excuses, and self-control, but I also want to add two that I feel very, very confident in sure that will move us to the next level is, is passion and excitement and, and then servants. I just want it to make sure that students know, teachers know that being a servant is so important if you're going to go out and try to change the world or be successful in 2018. Just wanted to take a, just a minute to share with you the successes of Garrett County High School. I want to uh, staff to know I want to continue striving to push those forward, keep growing those, keep celebrating those, and, and just celebrate the hard work that you all have done since 2000, 2012 and 13. It's just an amazing how far you brought the school and I want to keep that momentum going. I just have one expectation. Everything revolves around the direct impact the learning of the students, the growth of the students. I'm on every question, everything that comes up is what I am saying or doing have the ability to create growth in a student. Are we impacting student growth? And I just think it's so important. And on the administration side, I also want the teachers to know that that's what I'm going to be asking. Is every decision I make, is every conversation we're, we're having, 
have a direct impact on the ability to create growth in a student. Teaching and learning, this is my expectations. Is it cutting edge, creative, mind provoking, and energized? When we do observations, this is what uh, the administration is going to be looking for. What new strategies are you trying? What creative techniques are you using? Uh, and how energized and passionate are you about what you're teaching? Just so important in creating a community of learning. Collaborative learning, analysis, and the PLC format, I want it to be student-driven. I want everyone to be talking about how are we empowering students to be ready for the next level, gaps, successes, barriers, concerns, next steps. And then once we've got through all the students, then we can look at teachers. Uh, what, what gaps, what successes, what barriers do we need to overcome? What new tools do we need to try? Just collaboration, main focus, the students. Success for me is going to be continual growth. In our conversations, are we talking about how you're personally growing, collaboratively growing, and academically growing? We're looking at ways that the students are growing. So when our conversations become focused on continual growth and improving, then I know that we are being successful. And this is the three things I want to tackle this year. I'm very excited about graduation rate. I want to find out why in 2013 we're at 96.1. In 2016 we're at 89. What's going on? What's happening? Let's uh, get a 30, 60, 90 day plan together and let's tackle that. Also, um, we've hit 19. We've been right in the middle of the 19s in the ACT. And I feel like our major uh, growth area is science. So I want to come up with a, a plan this year to get a hold of science, to tackle science to get our, our composite average up in that. And then, once again, we've been working on Kagan strategies for five years now. So what's another plan we can put for the, the two toolbox to empower the teachers to give them support they need to move, uh, to move up to the next level? I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to working with you and moving Garrett County to that next level. Thank you.